is the here, which uh, um, which uh, runs to runs. Uh, okay, um, it says which runs twenty eight meters to the right in two point two seconds, and then turns and runs eight meters to the left in four point one second. All right. I like to diagram uh, my questions as I read it. Uh, it's one to kind of make sure I understood what the question was saying. And two, it helps me think through the problem. So even though this is a very simple question, let me just diagram it out. Um, so if this is the point where the woodchuck is starting from, then it's saying that it's running to right 28 meters. So let me draw some long distance here. All right, stops here at 2.2 seconds and then turns and runs eight meters to the left. So it's some shorter distance. All right, um, that feels like all the information. And um, it asks, what is the average velocity of the wood chuck? And this is the kind of question that where it's really testing you if you, um, one, if you know the definition, two, if you know how to apply definition in a rigorous way. So the definition of average velocity, if you read it in your textbook, the average velocity is the displacement, change in position, divided by the duration of time, or the you know, velocity is rate of change of velocity. The average is the, the non-infinitesimal version of it. And technically, it's uh, um, vector quantities. Although in this question, I think we are just giving magnitudes. So, so when you're looking at this, um, the thing that you have to be careful with is um, uh, so it is uh, how to treat this uh, displacement. So in this question, your total displacement, delta x, it's not 28 plus 8, because displacement is a vector, direction matters. So if you say going to the right is uh, in moving in the positive direction, then going to the left is going in the negative direction. So this should be minus. So the displacement is 28 minus 8 meters. Or it's really this uh, displacement here. This, uh, that's why I draw pictures. This is the visualization of the displacement. So that's the number you should be using, displacement. Your total displacement over the time is, why did I write 28? Total displacement over the time is 20 meters. And for the total duration, I can actually just use the total duration. So uh, delta T would be um, 2.2 seconds plus the 4.1 seconds or 6.3 uh, seconds. And um, I can now put it, the numbers into calculator. Uh, since uh, I'm in that uh, instructor view, let me just uh, uh, check my answer. <laughs> when I do show answer, it's a 3.17. And that kind of seems close enough to 20, 20 divided by 6.3. You know, 20 divided by 6 is about 3. So that seems right. So that's average velocity. And where the hint comes in is the distinguishing average speed from ever velocity. And in fact, after your chapter three, you won't see us using average speed all that much. It's uh, kind of not very useful for a lot of problem solving. But because um, average speed is a familiar concept in everyday life, <laughs> we feel we need to address it so that you don't confuse average speed with average velocity. So here, to, um, the calculation for average speed is a bit more complicated because you have to um, basically look at the total distance traveled and divided by total time. So the average speed is total distance. And I want to really distinguish distance from displacement here. And here, especially in a kind of unusual way. I'm not taking distance as just the magnitude of displacement. I'm actually counting this distance, 28 meters, and then this distance, eight meters. So the total distance is, is actually 28 plus eight meters or 36 meters. Let me write down 36. Um, 36 meters 
divided by the total time, it's, it should be the same time, 6.3 seconds. So let me just look up the answer. It should be close to six meters per second. Um, so close to, yeah, I mean, 5.71, round it up to six. If you actually plug the numbers into calculator, uh, that's what you would see. So that's the distinction. And, it, it, you know, it's not difficult to distinction, but it might be something that you're not used to. And I think that's why there's such a high number of retries because people are figuring out either, yeah, yeah, because people are figuring out what they thought of as average velocity. It's not how we use the word average velocity in physics. And maybe what, they, what you thought of as average speed is not how we use the words average speed in physics.